What's up guys? I just got this in the post today. This is the Matora Pro. I'm really excited to try this out and this is being referred to as the world's first wearable air conditioner. If you've lived in a country where this summer you just had a lot of heat waves, then, you know, personally for myself, I have had a lot of heat waves in London. I wish I heard about this sooner because this would have helped me a lot and this will just really help you cool down because if you've had something like this in the past, just like a portable battery powered fan, these things only just blow the hot air back onto you and they're quite loud, they're noisy and it's just a nuisance. Like for example, super noisy, I would never use something like this. This is where something like this comes in. When I say it's a wearable air conditioner, I genuinely mean that it can go down up to 16 degrees Celsius, like my actual air conditioner that I have in my bedroom, where you have to throw the pipe out the window because it does give you that much cold air. Not only that, but this can be used all year round because it can double up as a heater as well. So when you have really cold winters, then this will blow hot air and keep you warm. So it covers everything and I'm excited to show you what it covers. Let's go ahead and unbox this and get straight into it. There we have a Matora Pro carry case in gray and red you'll see a little logo, whether in freezing winter or in sultry summer. I'll always be by your side because this can complement your very hot summers and your very cold winters. Let's go ahead and open this carry case. There we go. This is the neck wearable air conditioner. Let's pull this out very nice design i will be covering the design and how all of this looks the ports the buttons all of that stuff in a second you've got yourself a qr code there this is to get additional support or to be able to contact the manufacturers which are iswift if you open up this compartment you have yourself a usb-c to usb-c charging cable to power the device so i'm going to cover the battery life in a second then you have a little card here to download the app and connect this via Bluetooth for both iOS and Android. Right, so this is the side that will be facing your head. You've got the power button there to turn it on. You've got the plus and minus buttons on the left-hand side of this device, which will increase and decrease the speed of the fan. Then you've got the fan that blows from there, there, and along the back. These three are actually referred to as three IC cooling plates, so that will really help to keep your neck comfortable when you are wearing this, especially for long periods of time, and if you are wearing this in the heat. At the back of the device, you'll see that this is where it will blow out all of the hot air when you are using this in cooling mode and to keep your neck and your head very cool. So a lot of smart technology in this, which I'm also going to be covering. Let's peel this back. This sensor is actually used to detect your body temperature as well. So when you do set this to smart mode, this can automatically adjust the fan levels of the temperature based on your body temperature, which I think is great. You also have another peel, and this is for the USB-C charging port. So let's dive in a little bit more about the specifications. This retails for around $249. Although it's not the cheapest wearable neck fan device that's on the market, because it is an air conditioner and it has so much smart tech on there, I actually think that's pretty good value for money, especially now that we're probably going to be having even hotter summers and even colder winters. The temperature range goes from the lowest at 16 degrees Celsius, which is around 60 Fahrenheit, all the way up to 55 degrees Celsius or 130 degree Fahrenheit. And that range really would cover all year round every type of need for you to wear this around your neck. If the temperature outside is, for example, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 21 degrees Celsius, this can drop up to 18 degrees Fahrenheit or seven degrees Celsius lower than the ambient temperature outside. And that's a very high drop to cool down your body temperature. The air conditioner technology in this is called micro air conditioner technology. And you're probably wondering if it is an air conditioner, where does that heat actually go? So take a look at this demo video and I'll also put the little technical description of how it works in full details if you wanna pause the video and read up more information about it. But essentially it has a liquid cooled heat equalizing mechanism inside 
and the internal structure that's filled with liquid, the heat is actually released and evaporated and vaporizes inside, and that condensation from that heat will be released from the back of the device over here. So let's talk about powering this on. You have a button here, but you also have an invisible display that pops up just on the left-hand side of that. Press it, you hear a little beep. You'll see it's currently set to 16 degrees Celsius, which is the lowest, and then 99 there is the battery percentage. The fan has now turned on, and I'm just going to show you the speed of the fan, and you can hear it's actually very quiet. It's not even too loud. I'm gonna reduce the fan. This is the lowest fan speed, and you guys can probably not hear much of it anymore. If I go back to the maximum, it will give you a beep once you are at the maximum level, and you know, that is very convenient. I'll put it back down to the lowest level and just quickly cycle through the different modes. If you don't want to use the app, this is how you will do it. If you hold down this button here and you hear one beep with a blue light, that means it's on cooling mode. There we go, the blue light is on. This is where you'll get cold air and it will be kind of like the air conditioner mode. If you hold it down and you listen to two beeps, that will be smart mode and you'll get a white light. Like so. So this is the smart mode that I was telling you about. This will basically automatically detect your body temperature and adjust the heating cooling temperatures accordingly. And if you hold it down and hear three beeps, this will turn red and go into heating mode. There we go, it's now red. And then this will start to blow hot air in the winter times. And of course you can adjust the speed of the airflow accordingly with the plus and minus buttons. However, if you wanted to increase the temperature or decrease the temperature, all you need to do is hold down the plus or hold down the minus, whether you're on cooling or heating mode, then it will increase or decrease the temperature accordingly. And these are all of the things that you can do without the app. And now let's go ahead and connect it to the app for the first time. So I've downloaded the app. It should detect it once you have it very close to it. You can see connected. Go through the setup steps. There we go. Very quick and easy. It tells you the battery percentage there. You can turn it on and off. And this is where you can set the temperature. So if I go into cooling mode, for example, turn it on, go to cooling mode. You can increase, decrease the temperature. I'll go back down to 16 to make it the coldest speed. Let's go all the way to 100. This is the fastest speed. And it's very quick and easy to use. So having the app there is so convenient. My office is quite hot here and um, you guys can probably see I'm starting to sweat already because of all of the lights and my camera equipment, my laptop, everything is generating heat. So this is something I would really use, especially if I'm working from home in my office here and I start to sweat and you know I have to put a fan on all day long, then just having this on for a couple of hours will cool me down. This is going to be very useful. One thing I really like this for, compared to like having normal air conditioners that you have to plug in, is this saves a lot of money on energy bills. So instead of having your fans or your air conditioners plugged into your house and your rooms and have them on all day long, that will generate a lot of electricity and your bills are gonna keep going up. And that's not the ideal solution to tackle all of the heat waves that we're having. This, for example, is gonna be very useful because it is rechargeable, you're based on battery and it's not really generating any other costs other than the very small amount of time it takes to charge this. And in terms of the battery life, this it has a 22 watt fast charging capability, which will give you around eight hours of constant usage on the general airflow mode. If you wanted to use it on the air conditioner mode, if you wanna use it constantly, then that'll give you up to five hours of usage time, which I think is very great for a device like this. This has such an ergonomic design that it makes it so comfortable to use pretty much for hours and hours if you wanted to use it for five hours straight. I don't see myself feeling uncomfortable at all once I've tried wearing this. And one other thing this will be useful for is if you do go out, maybe you're going to the beach and it is quite hot, or even if you're just in your back garden and the sun is shining quite a lot, just having this on, it's gonna be very convenient to have. 
especially when you are going out and about in those hot summer days or in those cold winter days, then maybe you know just chuck this in your backpack and you've got a very nice carry case. It's gonna be a very convenient choice for you. I don't see myself wearing this on the trains, for example, with the commute to work, just because of how it might look to other customers. But if it's something that you're just gonna to go to the park or to the beach and you just wanna sit there and relax, I think it's gonna be a very great thing to have. And one other thing I really like about this is if you just turn it on, you've got the white light, that's smart mode. It will automatically turn on as soon as you put it around your neck. There you go. Can you guys hear that it's turned on? I think it's on maximum airflow, so I can just adjust that. Bring it down. There we go. That's the lowest airflow. It's just so very quick and easy. So if you're ready to take it off, just hit the button. It turns off pretty much instantly and you're ready to get on with your day. So I can't fault this because for $249 retail, I think this is a must have, especially the way climate change is going and you're gonna have colder winters, you're gonna have hotter summers. You can really use this all year round and that's something that I see myself definitely going to be using more often than not. So I'm very impressed with this. I really like the design of this. And one other thing, this has a bladeless fan design. So if you have long hair, then you don't have to worry about the hair being trapped in there at all. It's completely safe, it's super comfortable. It's not even too heavy, so it doesn't feel like it's weighing down your neck or anything like that. All right, so hopefully you found that review useful, guys. Initially, I was quite skeptical of whether this is cold enough to be considered as an air conditioner, but going down to 16 degrees Celsius, I think it has, and genuinely it is blowing cold air to the point where I can cool down pretty quickly. And I'm so impressed with the functionalities that this provides overall for me to use it pretty much all year round. If I've missed anything that you guys want to know about this device, then drop a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Check out the link in the description to find out more details about this and how to buy it. And also check out any discount codes so you guys can save up to 10% on the retail price of this. For me, I would say this is probably one of the coolest gadgets that I've reviewed since the beginning of my YouTube channel. and. I'm so impressed that I've come across something like this because this is one of those devices that I would absolutely love to use on a regular basis. So guys, new videos out every week with really cool tech gadgets like this. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.